I'm gonna show you how to color grade in just two clicks the footage from your DJI Pocket 2 and even DJI Pocket 3 when it comes out. And this works with whatever platform that you use to edit and color grade, whether it's DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro or Premiere Pro or any other platform out there. I'm gonna show you my workflow and how I do it so that you can then replicate it and create amazing images. I've created an extensive set of over 150 high quality 65 point LUTs for the DJI Pocket 2 and even DJI Pocket 3 when it comes out. I have a more basic pack of uh, LUTs for the DJI Pocket 2 that covers the color correction LUTs as well as a range of creative looks, okay? So for many people that may be everything that they ever need, but if you're looking for a much more comprehensive set with over 160 looks, as well as a day for night lot, which I wish I had when I started <laughs> back in the day, this is the pack that you want. So as you can clearly see, this is the set of lights and they divide in different folders and different looks, as well as the color correction uh, set of lights for bright daylight, normal or uh, cloudy, and then nighttime. The Pocket 2 is an amazing blogging camera, so if color grading is not your thing, this is as simple as this. All you need to do is understand the type of day that you have. For instance, this is bright daylight or sunny, the same for this one and that one. This is foggy or is slightly cloudy, so you just come for either neutral, regular, or vivid, okay? I would probably be fine with vivid. And that's all you need to do. That's one click, drag and drop, or double click, and that is a color corrected shot. Now, what you need to understand is that it's really difficult to create a set of lots or parameters that will work with every footage out there because we all work in different ways. There are different uh, color temperatures, weather conditions, uh, brightness levels. So this set of lots will give you 95 or 98 percent of everything that you need to do. And then you just need to tweak things to suit your needs. For instance, in this shot, this is a slightly over 1023, okay, which ideally you don't want, okay? So what you want to do is come to the game and bring it down slightly, okay? So if you want to be academic and perfect, ideally your bright should never go over 1023 and your dark should never go past below zero. Yes, you can, of course, it's a creative decision that you can decide yourself, but in an ideal world you want your darks not below zero and your brights not over 1023. And essentially that's it. That's a color corrected uh, image. So let's say this shot, this is bright daylight and you can come says vivid, it's probably too much. I would go for regular, okay? So as you can clearly see, this is a stage within 1023 and just above zero. And here, you can, all you need to do is you might want to lift the darks a little bit so you come to the shadows and you can lift them up a little bit. But essentially, this is all you need to do. But this is not just for vlogging. I mean, you got shots, for instance, this one, it's, you know, let's bring regular, it's just drag and drop. You know, you go from that to that. Um, this one, bright daylight, and uh, you can go vivid. That's it, just drag and drop. You don't need to worry about adjusting the saturation or the contrast. This is probably a bit too dark now. Uh, you want maybe cloudy because it's less daylight and there. But essentially the shot is color corrected. <laughs>
Now, along with the color correction LUTs, I give you over 150 creative looks. All the LUTs in this pack are 65 points to future-proof your purchase for whatever DJI comes up in the future, whether it's the DJI Pocket 3 or the Pocket 4. This shot here, we can create a serial node. Because you're going to apply another LUT on top of it, you might want to put a bit uh, neutral or not so much vivid, but regular. And here you can then apply your lookup table. You might like this one. You know, you might want to bring the highlights down. That might be something that you like, you know. That's, that looks that looks really nice, actually. But it's very, very quick. You've seen how quick it is to, to do this. Okay, so let's say this is a bright daylight. Uh, I'm just going to do regular. And I'm going to come here and let's say that I want it to be black and white, okay? You can just hover over and decide which black and white you like. There's a whole range of them. Um, you might want it to be warm if you want to warm the, the shot. So there might be a situation where, for instance, this one looks really nice. Another one that is really, really nice is the vintage looks. And, the, and this is amazing to make the footage look like really old and classic. You know, it, it looks really, really fantastic. Another one that is really, really nice that I personally really like is the day for night. So let's say that we take this shot. That's done. That's two clicks. You got your footage uh, as if it was shot at night. This is a great shot for dramatic or narrative filming or any type of shot where naturally you want it to look like it's night. You need to be careful on this because obviously if you shoot buildings at night, lights are expected to be on so it may not look as realistic as you expect it to be but if it's something narrative in a forest in the woods on a beach and you can't really afford to film at night because it's dangerous it's late people are tired you just film at daytime and then apply this uh, this lat and it will look like it was shot at midnight or one or two in the morning now the best thing to do this is when it's not very bright Okay, so cloudy days or early morning or late evening, because if you have a lot of sun in the shot, it's not gonna look right because the moon doesn't have such a strong reflection. So always bear that in mind when you apply this film. Now, another one that is really cool is the night shot. So I have 10 set of night lights that give you different looks depending on the different bright conditions and different saturations. So it's really nice. All you need to do is preview the look that you want and drag and drop. And it's as simple as that. Okay, so this is another one. Really nice. And you might say, well, I like that one. That's it. That's all you need to do. Just drag and drop. That looks brilliant. And if at any point you want to lift some, you know, you can lift the, the darks or bring them even darker. But that's your decision. So that's it. That's all you need to do. Two clicks or drag and drop and your footage is great. This is great for anyone that doesn't quite grasp color grading or is a little bit intimidating or you just can't be bothered learning a whole set of new skills, okay? This is very simple, two clicks and you're ready to go. This set of lights give you all the flexibility and creativity that you could possibly ever need from a DJI Pocket 2 or Pocket 3 filming on the DC in color space. And if you are looking to up your game on color grading and editing, and you are considering DaVinci Resolve as your main editing and grading platform, I've got this video here where I show you anything and everything that you need to get started in no time. So click on it and I'll see you there.